Hey guys, so this video I've been wanting to do for several months now. It is a monthly updates video. This is actually something that was started by um, Kalel, and she is has a page called Wonder or YouTube called Wonderland Wardrobe, and I really like her videos. And the first time I saw them. Um, I was like, wow, this is a great idea. And instead of doing like a favorites video, it is just kind of a couple of, it's ten questions that you answer every month just to kind of see where you are at or what you've done at the end of the month. So, this is mine. I changed a few of the questions just because they're not like relevant to me or anything. Some of hers. Um, so I tried to change them a little bit and make them more relevant to my life. So I will have all of them in the bottom bar and I would love to see some of your answers to these responses too. So let's get to it. Okay, the first question is, what was the funniest thing that happened to you? So the funniest thing that happened to me that I can think of right now is that when I was in Oklahoma visiting my sister, my little nephew handed me this little toy gun and when I saw it I was like oh yeah I've seen that before like and as soon as I grabbed it my sister and my niece were screaming no don't do it and as they did it it shocked me and I threw it across the table and we all started laughing because it's I knew I had seen it before because they had pulled this trick on me before um years ago and but it didn't click until they were going no, and it was too late that I was being shocked. What books did you read? So, two of the books that I finished reading were um, House of Night Hidden, which I think is number 10, um, and I really liked it. And then I read Pretty Little Liars Wicked. So, I really enjoyed both books, and I know they're kind of like easy reads um, for someone my age, but I really like them. I like the series. I love Pretty Little Liars, the TV show, which has is the reason I'm reading the books. I'm only on number five, or just finished number five, so we'll see. I'm the book and the move or the show are very they're similar, but they're different, and it's interesting how they take certain things from the book and twist them to where the way they want them in the in the TV show. I keep saying movie, TV show. So yeah. Um, the third one is what is your favorite movie or t TV show that you watch this month so I finally saw Iron Man 2 on TV and I haven't seen it yet and I really enjoy like superhero um, movies and things of that sort I was a big comic book person when I was a kid and so I was really surprised that the sequel was actually as good as the first one at least in my opinion and then two TV shows that I'm really enjoying right now are Downton Abbey, and which is a PBS show, and it is um, a period piece or show. It's about these people that live in England, and they are nobles, or they're aristocratic people. In right now, they're in the 1920s. Uh, 19 yeah, it's the 1920s. World War One has just ended, but it started right before World War One went through and um, that's where we are now and it is just if you're a history person or really like kind of drama um, shows it's really really well written and the characters and the actors are just so great the other show that I'm liking or loving and obsessed with is something on the complete other end of the spectrum and that is The Carrie Diaries and this is on the CW, and it is basically a prequel to Sex and the City. And it is all about Carrie Bradshaw when she's in high school, and how she discovers the city and falls in love with New York City and all that kind of stuff. And I just love it. It's so cute. It's so great to see, kind of see um, how it ties into the original show and how you kind of can see from now Carrie as a kid how she becomes Carrie the adult and I really like it. Number four, something that made you proud. Something that made me, me proud this month or last month, January, was that even though I stopped going to the gym, I still was able to lose weight without really trying. I didn't really eat a lot more during Christmas, but I didn't 
um, or the holidays, I, but I didn't not eat cakes and cookies and whatever. Um, but I did stop going to the gym just because I didn't have the time and got lazy and blah, blah, blah. But what made me proud is that I still lost weight. And because I lost weight, what made me that weight, I was able to fit <coughs> into a pair of Forever 21 skinny jeans, which I couldn't fit into their largest size. And now I can fit into a smaller size than their larger size of their skinny jeans. So I'm super proud of myself for that, for finally achieving that goal of being able to fit into smaller. Clothes. Number five. Did you travel or go to a fun event? So yes, I did both. Um, at the beginning of the year, I was actually technically in Oklahoma visiting my sister, and then I traveled from there to North Carolina, Charlotte area, to visit one of my best friends, and it was really fun. I had just a blast, one, just being with family and seeing my nephews and my sister and um, my niece and all them. It was great to see them. I had fun. I wish I'd been able to spend more time with them, but, you know, it ha at least I got out there. I hadn't been out there in almost three years, or two years. It's been about two years. So, yeah. And then I went to North Carolina for a few days to visit my friend, and we just had so much fun. Um, she moved out there a while ago, and I, it was just so great to see her and have fun. The other big thing this month that I did was that I went to IMATS, and if you want to see my experience there, I actually have a video, which I will link here and in the bottom bar, so go check that one Number out. Number six, what foods or recipes have you tried and loved? So, some of the recipes that I've tried was my sister made this really good cornbread casserole thing, and so... I decided to, when I got home, that I was going to kind of change it up a little bit and make it a little spicier, and um, it has, like, ground beef, and then you put, with a whole bunch of, like, veggies, like onions and stuff, and you put cream of celery soup over it, and then um, you put cornbread mix on top, and then you stick it in the oven. It is so good. I'll put a picture here. Or I'll show you a picture now or something like that. Or I'll show you... Here's a picture of what it looked like. It was so delicious. Um, and I think I'm actually going to do a video on my HB Cooks um, channel. So look out for that. Another thing that I really enjoyed was um, Jiffy is a brand and they make cornbread mix. And it is just the best cornbread mix ever. Which I've known forever for a very long time. Well, when I went to go buy the cornbread mix for that dish, that recipe I just told you about, I found out they had pizza mix. And so I was like, oh, because I always have the biggest trouble, trouble, bleh. I always have the biggest trouble with um, pizza dough for some reason, or I don't know, bread dough in general. I think my house is just too cold, or there's something wrong with our water, that there's too many minerals or something. I don't know what it is. But I decided to try it, and oh my gosh, it is now my go-to pizza dough. It's so easy. It was 75 cents for one, you know, pizza dough thing. So when I made my pizza with all its toppings and everything, it was like $5 pizza, and it was so much better than anything you can buy, like, have delivered. Although I still get delivery. It's just easy. Number seven, what song have you listened to the most? And the song would be by the band Perry right now, and it's Better Dig Too. I am obsessed with that song right now. I do not know why, but it just gets stuck in my head, and I just love that song. Number eight. What is your favorite beauty products this month, or what were they? Um, the first one would be my Maybelline Color Tattoo in Ink and in Pink. And I just love these in general, but this is such a beautiful base for any pink eyeshadow that you're going to do, which takes me to my second favorite thing this month, which was my Naked Palette. And I actually used both of these in a recent tutorial this month, so you can check that out too. And I just love this palette. It is so pretty. I'm so glad I finally got it, and yes. Thank you, Daddy.
so yeah. The third thing I've actually had for a little while and that would be my Bioderma and this is just a toner cleanser and I love it. It is so gentle on your skin. You can use it on your eye area. Um, in the morning I use this instead of washing my face. At night I take all my makeup off then I will wash my face and then I use this as a toner and it gets even more makeup that my cleanser and my makeup wipes didn't get which to me amazes me but it leaves a very fresh clean feeling like you feel like your pores are open and the oxygen is getting into them but it doesn't make your skin feel dry which I really really love. Okay what piece of clothing was your favorite this month and that would be my new Forever 21 skinny jeans. I got I bought two pairs. I bought one in a dark color and one in like a gray and I or dark jean color and then one in a gray. And I just love them and I've been wearing them constantly pretty much. So yeah, they are definitely my favorite. And number ten, what did you learn this month? This month I learned that I kind of need a change in my life. I hadn't been out of the state um, for almost two years and that last time was to see my sister and I just realized that I need to get out more and do more stuff and that I've been kind of a homebody more than I should be. So that is my January update. I hope that you enjoyed it and I would love to see a video of your January update or you could just answer the questions in the comments below and I would love to read them all. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!